Hello everyone, it's Dave Jacobs, and by request of Marco J, the author of Saving Private Peshko Remastered, we're going to play it. Um, it's also worth noting that, of course, since it's a remaster, there's also an original version down here, but specifically I was asked to play the remaster, which I will gladly do. It's been a while since I played it, so let's see what we have. It's going to be a good time. I can already feel it. Did you know that 73.2% of soldiers say they... What the fuck? <laughs> First, what was that accent? Second, that went by way too fast. <laughs> Loading. Okay, cutscene. I think. I think there's a cutscene. I think all these levels have cutscenes, so I'm just going to play it. Sam, Marco here from HQ. We got a problem. What kind of a problem? Peshko from Team Charlie somehow got trapped inside a pyramid. Inside a pyramid? Yeah, his convoy was hit around 1000 hours. He was the only one who survived. Why do I have to save him? I'm tracking you on my radar, and you're the only one nearby the pyramid. And what is his exact location? It's east of you. Go through the temples. And be careful. There's a high enemy activity in the area. Copy that. I'll be there. Oh boy. Actually not a bad cutscene. And I don't know if that was the voice actor or not, but that actually was a pretty convincing serious same impression. You never oh. get to retire, do we? Oh wow, an actual good serious sand quote. What the fuck? I don't think I've heard that one before. Uh, stand still? Thanks. Ow, bitch. Oh, this is BFE for sure. Oh yeah, this is heavy BFE. Kamikazes and hit scanners immediately. Yep, that is the BFE experience. No question. Okay, I guess we're just gonna focus on the kamikazes first, if I can hit them. That spider's damaged, I'll just finish him off. This sucks. I just hope I don't get chain gunned to death by the guy in the background. Yeah, I hear the bullets. Okay. Pretty rough start. I need health. Oh, there's a hit scanner. Okay. Okay, how do I take care of you? Do I just pistol you to death? That's kind of boring. Uh, there has to be a better weapon around here somewhere. I know I grabbed a shotgun, but that's not going to do much. Well, this is fun. Come on. Die. Please. Here. Actually, I'll just... Fuck it. Shotgun. There. Health. Nice. Okay. Well, that is a very rough start. Hey, an assault rifle. I'll take it. Oh, invisible wall. Ah, so the trend continues. Invisible walls. All over the place. Great. Why invisible walls? Ah, 
Uh, what was that? Oh, I hear a hit scanner. Where is he? Oh, he's right there. Actually, you're a pretty good shot cutting distance. Need to take care of him quick. There. Awesome. Oh, invisible wall. Why? Go away. I hate invisible walls. What's up here? Invisible wall, that's what. What's over here? Oh, that's the secret that I grabbed. Okay. I'm getting shot in the ass. Take care of the hit scanners, take care of the zorgs. Oh yeah, I forgot there's zorgs. Look at that. Kinda nice to see if they make a appearance. Armor, always nice to have. Clear. Kamikaze, okay. I don't think I have enough weapons. Or it feels like I don't have enough weapons. It's doable, but... I don't know. Not really what I was expecting to be... Using. Actually, I'm gonna go back here so I can take care of those guys. Oh, and you have slower movement speed back here for some bizarre reason. Okay, you know what, I'm just gonna use a shotgun. Fuck it. I don't know why, but I feel like I need to conserve ammo for it. There. I see you. Low health again. I hope it's not like a recurring theme. Probably is. Also, like these little mini lag spikes are scaring me. There. Clear, be gone. Is that a biomech? That is a biomech. And the tree is blocking my shots. That's great. I like it when that happens. And there. Yeah, it doesn't really seem like there's a lot of ammo on this map for the shotgun. I'm assuming that there's like hidden assault rifle bullets somewhere. Since I picked up an assault rifle, it makes sense. Okay. Well, at least my health is looking good. Armor could be doing better. This is a rough ass map. Damn. Especially this first area is... like, what the fuck? <laughs> um, do I want to go out into the desert? Not really. I do see this. That's something. How many secrets are there? Oh, there's three, so I need to find one more. Okay. That's fine by me. Uh, it doesn't look like there's anything out there, so I'm gonna say no. And I'll just continue. 
Actually, I wonder if there's a secret on the opposite side. Because there's one there, there's one there, so I wonder if there's one over here somewhere. Maybe. No, I don't think there is. Doesn't look like it. Um, hmm. Maybe there's something over here that I can grab. I don't know. I hear combat music. Oh, spiders. Yay. I love fighting spiders. I like my guns like I like my enemies. Full of shotgun shells. Oh, hello. Super Shotgun, you would have been useful back there. Super Shotgun would have been really useful back there. Um, well, because I was fighting clear. Oh, what's this? Can I... I don't think you can. Ah, fuck it. I'll just go back the way I came. Oh yeah, sand whale. I feel like there's something here that I'm missing, but... Oh well. Let's go through here and see if we can find... Le Secret. Oh, I have a knife. You can't use it while sprinting, but I have a knife. That would have been useful to know. Since when do I have a knife? It's the HD knife, it's not like the Sirius M4 knife. But it is a knife, and I don't know what those clear are doing. Those clear are doing something special. Ooh, can I... Well, there is an invisible wall, but you can actually sort of walk on this. Okay. What about over here? Anything interesting? There's this area. This looks kind of interesting. Oh, I hear the canoe. Wait, canoe? What? I only have a double shotgun. What? You want me to fight a canoe with a super shotgun? I mean, I can, but what the fuck? Oh, what are these? What is this pathfinding that the clear are doing? Oh my god. Oh, die. Wrong weapon. I'll still take it though, I guess. It's a fucking canoe. Why is that here? I only have a shotgun. Do you really want me to shotgun him to death? I mean, I can. Nah, no, no, no. There has to be a rocket launcher or something I can use. There's no way that they would actually introduce a canoe and make a side view. Have to fight him with a super shotgun. That doesn't make any sense. That makes zero sense. Okay, there has to be a secret back here. Secret rocket launcher or something I can use to take down this guy. Oh, projectile. Oh, go away. Anything back here?
I have no idea what he's clearer doing, but scaring me. I heard you. By the way, I wish that the Sirius M4 Gnooms had that snap. They don't have it. Mixed object projectiles a lot easier. Okay, go away. Okay, really, what what do I do against you? Do I actually have to super shotgun him to death? Nah, no, no, there's, there's no way. That, that would be ridiculous. I think I do. Okay, fine, let's do this. It's not hard or anything, it's just why. Die, 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 die. Actually, that's a good spot. Stay right there. Um. Interesting. Um, let's see, is there anything up here that I can grab, maybe? Anything down there? No? Hmm. Actually, I wonder. Let me see. Okay, you have this area. Um, maybe you could break one of these somehow, and I don't know. Um, yo, let me out. Let me out. Let me out. Let me out. 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 Am I? S nah, no, 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 no. Hold on. Okay, let me out. Let me out. Let me out, out, out. Please. Please, I beg you. Are you kidding? Okay, so this isn't a secret area, but it fucking screws you over. If you get... No, 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 that can't be. Come on, out, out, out. I can see Sam is, like, wanting to go over this. Get... Come on. Get out. Get out. Sam. Come on. It's not that hard, buddy. Just jump. Oh, and I don't even have the mutilator. <sighs> um, do it, and I don't have a sledgehammer. I have a knife. I can't break these. I don't even know if you could break these to begin with. Well, this is amazing. What a great map. What what a fantastic map. Oh boy. Okay. I'm seeing red right now. Let's do this again and let's not suck so much. We never get too tired, do we? There's a spider there. I don't remember him being there. I missed all my shots. I'm gonna take care of the Rocketeers. They're actually the most dangerous. Well, alongside that scorpion, but he's way in the back. Yeah, I don't even see him.
I am really pissed. Have to redo this all over again. Oh my god. Yeah, I think using the pistol is the best strategy for this. You don't have a lot of ammo. Okay, I'm going to come over here. Don't shoot me. Thanks. Okay, now that you're over here, I'm just going to shotgun you to death. And hopefully don't get flanked by enemies. There's one. Good stun. Nope, I need one more shot. Or two, maybe. There, got him. Oh, there's another one. I don't remember him being there. Oh, wait, yay. He did spawn there, but he didn't spawn until much later. Can I go up here? Conveniently stack boxes tell me I can, but I can't. He didn't die. Okay. Grab these. Come over here. Oh boy. There's the enemy. There he is. Okay, the other secret was somewhere over here, I think. Maybe it was up here? No. Oh, it was over here. There we go. More kamikazes, that's perfect. Game shot, that's good. Not mad. There we go. Some spiders. Tree arm. That tree blocks my bullet. Well, let me see this. Yeah, that tree blocks projectiles. What the fuck? Okay, so as long as you're behind the tree, you're pretty much safe. Yeah, look at that. You can't attack the enemy and they can't attack you. That's cool. 
get fucking tree armor. Okay, anything over here? No. Nothing down here, I guess. No. Shells, I will take. Yeah, these trees have, like, fucking collision on them. What the hell? That's so odd. Why? What kind of design choice is that? I forget, do you want me to do Adventures of Peshka Remastered, or do you want me to do this? I don't remember. Okay, let's do a section again. We have a knife, let's put it to use. Also some armor, that's good. I'll take... Nar. Okay, let's come up here. And I know the clear kind of loop around. They follow like a... You know what? Fuck you. 20 bullets. That is not nearly enough. There they are. That's what I was waiting for. One. Two. How many are there? Three? Three. Are there more? Yep, there are. Okay. What kind of question is that? Serious, Sam? Of course there's gonna be more. So, okay, let's do the other side. Get rid of these clears. One. Two. I said. Two. Not going in there. That's a death trap. Secret. There we go. Yeah, we do have to super shotgun the canoe, that sucks. No rocket launcher. I was actually expecting there to be a rocket launcher there. I don't know what I was thinking. By the way, is this guy gonna turn around and face me, or what's he gonna do? Is he just gonna sit there? I have no idea. I mean, I'm glad he's not facing me. Makes my job easier. I really don't want these guys to snipe me in the back. Okay, he's free. What the fuck? Die. 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 Why do you take so many hits? Die. Die. Die! Die! You're dead! Oh my god. Damn, that's annoying. Uh, oh, maybe I missed a key somewhere? I don't know. Oh, that's not good. Oh, that's really not good. Yep. Okay. Uh, I think not. Oh, 
Oh, combat music stopped. And now it's regular combat music. Yay. That's just how good I am. I beat the map so hard that there's no more combat music. Go away. I wish I had my sledgehammer instead of whatever this thing is. Oh my god. Come here. How many times do I gotta tell you? Uh... Reptiloid. I was not expecting to see you here. There we go. And, uh... I actually like fighting reptiloids with, with the super shotgun. It's fun. It's kind of rare when you actually get to encounter reptiloids on the ground, but they're actually kind of fun to fight. You kind of jump to shoot their projectile and deal damage, and then, yeah, it's cool. I like it. Oh, and well, look at that. I actually got all the kills and all the secrets. Okay. Well, that map sucks. Let's see if the next one's any better. Thoughts, thoughts, thoughts. It's BFE. It's all the worst aspects of BFE all over again. Hit scanners with kamikazes, with all this other crap. It, it sucks. I don't like it. It's doable, but eh. I've played worse. I'll just leave it at that. Um, speaking of... Oh, one secret. Okay. Well, is there a secret back here? No. Always good to check the starting area. You never know. Oh, well, I, I recognize this music. I think it's from Legend of the Beast. I know it's actually a original protein song, though. One that glorious Demian had made. Oh, and I see an assault rifle. That's actually good. I was looking for that. Do your thing. Yeah. Actually, I think I might be faster to do the takedown animation on them. I don't know. More risky, though. For sure. Okay, there's only one secret in this map, so I better not miss it. And now that I've said that, I'm probably gonna miss it. I should've just not said anything. Oh my god, get... I'm willing to bet it's here. Nope. Okay, there's a slip... Like, a little slippery slope that's right there. Maybe you still can get up, I don't know. Let's try it again. Nope, it slides you off. Well, it was worth a try. Ah, look at these guys. Back to back. Okay. Um. Ooh, maybe I can climb up there. Uh, let's, let's give it a try. Nope. You're actually kind of far away. I don't like that. Here, I'm just gonna pelt you with shotgun. Actually, I'll just wait for him to get closer. Come here. Not you. Him. Thanks. Shotgun is actually getting kind of a workout. I like it. Well, I would say that this level is already better than the previous one. It has better music. Well, that's not really a good claim to make. The other level has good music too. I'm really a Stamion. What are you gonna do? 
Dum yum. Uh, hmm. Can I climb on this? Kind of? What about over here? Can I do anything over here? Oh no, C4, that's good. I don't want to miss anything, I'm gonna double check this area. And also see if there's any shootable things. Invisible wall, invisible wall. My god, Marco likes invisible walls. What the fuck? Ooh, is that what I think it is? That's a grenade launcher, ladies and gents. You know what that means? It means the map is actually good. Whenever there's a grenade launcher, it means that the map is automatically good. That's just a fact. Nope, invisible wall. I should have known better. Yes! Hell yeah, Sam. Let's do this, brother. Aw, oh, look at all those enemies. And all these trees! Actually, this is gonna sound crazy, but I kinda wish I got a rocket launcher so I could take care of the reptiloid. Grenade launcher is good, but it's not that good. Especially against ranged targets. Rocket launcher is actually better when it comes to that. For you, though, it's perfect. Love me the grenade launcher. This thing is so good. Actually, I actually have an assault rifle, I can just kill him. Yeah. There. Easy. Ooh. Okay, no, I don't want to go there. Not yet. I want to explore. Yeah, I hear you. Take that. Okay. Oh, more. That's the beauty of the grenade launcher, is you're able to combo. Look at that. Easy. trying to do the melee, but it didn't. Maybe it's because he was like on a slightly elevated surface. I know that like you have to be pretty much like square on in terms of level with your enemy to do it. I think maybe it's because he was too high and for whatever reason it just didn't register. I don't know. I'm gonna try it again though. Maybe having the knife out for whatever reason like... Nope. It worked. I'm not gonna try it now. I'm gonna take care of this guy. Oh no, I'm actually gonna take care of that guy. Ow, I saw that. There we go. I hear that. Okay, I want this guy dead before I kill anything else. And I have just a weapon. Here you go. Have some of that.
Honestly, I wish that the grenade launcher is just a part of Serious M3. I mean, I know it's kind of odd, but I think it works with the gameplay. I'm genuinely surprised that they didn't have the grenade launcher in Serious M3. It's not the most I it's not the most iconic weapon in the series, but it's the one that I like the most. So, a bit of a subjective thing. And also, I'm not sure why, but I don't know why they didn't repurpose the C4 into like a sticky bomb launcher. Imagine that. Imagine like in Serious M4, instead of getting C4 charges, you basically had like an alternate fire for the grenade launcher that let you shoot out C4. So the C4 would like, you shoot it, it sticks onto an enemy and like secondary fire just detonates it. So instead of having C4, you would basically load it up in the grenade launcher and shoot it out like an alternate ammo type. That's what I was thinking. I think that makes a lot more sense, actually. You can roleplay as a demo man from Team Fortress 2 and just shoot sticky bombs at enemies and blow them up. Honestly, that would give the grenade launcher even more utility, and I really can't see a reason why Crow Team didn't do it other than they didn't know how to program alternate ammo types, which is something that Climax Entertainment was able to do with... Serious Sam. Next encounter. It really makes you think. Can we have Climax back, please, as like the one and only person to make Serious Sam? They did such a better job with it than Crow Team did. Just in terms of ideas. Like, ideas alone, I think Climax easily beats out Crow Team in the creativity department. I don't agree with all the changes that they did in Next Encounter, like the way that they made Reptiloids and also like the combo system. Although the combo system does work pretty well for the, the Next Encounter. Like, the game was built around the combo system. Framerater did an awesome video on it, so I'd definitely recommend checking his channel out and watching that if you get the chance. All I'm trying to say is, they're creative. They did a lot of good shit with the next encounter, in terms of voice lines, alternate ammo types, ideas, different enemy encounters. Oh! You can just... Oh wait, no you can't. Okay, that's actually good invisible wall usage. That would be a little cheap if you could just jump over it. Oh, you know what? I pulled a lever, so I'm gonna assume that it opens something down here. Let's have a look. Oh, a key. Yeah, okay. That makes a lot more sense. I'm also going to assume that that spawned in enemies. It did. Okay. I hate it when I'm right. Where's the other one? Oh no, there's a scorpion up there that I really don't want to shoot. Well, I do want to shoot him. I don't want him to shoot me. There's a difference. There we go. You go away. I'm busy. I know that there's a second reptiloid up here somewhere. Ah, there he is. Face me. You could do better than that. Come on. Oh. Okay, nice throw. You actually did something smart and shot the projectile off to the side. There. Too bad you still suck and you're dead. <laughs> By the way, where where is this fucking thing? I want to find the secret. Oh, wait. Okay, that's kind of scary. I only have 102 kills so far, and there's 402, so 300 more to go. Where on earth would you fit 300 enemies on a small-ass map like this? I'm sure I'm going to get the answer, and I'm not going to like it. I'll find out the answer soon enough. Okay. 
before I activate the lever, I'm going to check over here. Also, I hate the fact that like your movement speed is arbitrarily just slowed down for no reason. Like, why? It doesn't do anything for gameplay purposes, it just kind of makes you move slower. And it's not very fun. That's such a BF th that's that's such a BFE thing to do. To just slow down your movement for no reason. Oh, you're in a important area? How about we slow down your movement? That way you know it's important. Like, you don't need to do that. It doesn't add anything to the gameplay experience. But also Um Hmm. I forgot what I was gonna say. Let's just pull the lever. Oh yeah, I was gonna wonder why the combat music stopped. I mean, I still hear him. He's awake. Ooh. There. Oh, there's another one. He's over there. Okay. Hopefully he's stationary. Yeah, he's not moving anywhere. Mm. There. How do you like that? You know what? I actually like this map. I don't like the first map, but I like this map. What did I tell you guys? If the map has a grenade launcher, it's automatically good. That's just the way it works. I also kind of like the fact that there's somewhat limited ammo, so you can't just spray and pray with everything. You have to actually kind of utilize all your tools. And you know what? I'm okay with that. I think that's actually pretty cool, if done right. And I think this map actually accomplishes that for the most part. Uh, what? Oh, there's more. Okay. Before I go over there, I'm gonna check down here. Hopefully I didn't miss anything. Ooh, maybe I'll open this up. We'll see. Nope, still closed. Hmm. Maybe there's a secret lever around here somewhere that I can pull and it opens the door. Maybe that's what the secret is. Maybe it's something that's inside of this. Well, I guess that means before I go, I'm gonna check around a little bit. If there is a switch, it can't be too far from where that is. Maybe it's behind a statue somewhere. Plus, levers usually have that kind of red clay texture around it, which makes them a little easier to spot, so... You know what, this would be a perfect place to put one. It's obtuse, but not too out of the way. Maybe somewhere else, I don't know. Or maybe I'm crazy and there's actually nothing down there. It's probably I'm crazy. I don't think there's actually a secret down there. I don't get that vibe from it. I mean, could it theoretically open? Yes, but I don't know. I don't. I don't get the vibe from it that it's a secret. I could be wrong though. Let me know if you know where the secret is. Unless I find it, then save your breath, I guess. <laughs> I don't know why I do that awkward ass laugh. I explain something, and I'm kind of like uh, afterwards. Okay, this opens. That's good, I think. You can destroy the torches. The door does close behind you. You know what, knife. Okay then, let's, um, what should I do? I don't really see anything in here that's 
worth it, so I will just continue over here. Oh, hello. Oh, I guess the reptile only didn't like the fact I tried to open the door. What a mark. Can I open this? Or bash it open? Maybe if I had the sledgehammer. No, I don't see anything in there. It's probably not a secret. Although, that looks interesting. Just because those platforms are connected, that intrigues me. It intrigues me greatly. This also looks kind of interesting. Although, this looks like the area that you're supposed to go to. Maybe it's just there because it looks cool. Which it does. I like the aesthetic of this map. The map has a really cool skybox. I mean, it's nice, bright, sunny, and like the layout of the map is very ornate, I guess you could say. Very pretty. Pretty map. And fun. That's the most important thing. I could care less if a map looks good or not, as long as it plays nice. Well, unless the map looks like garbage to the point where it's like you can't even see what you're doing, then I'll care. If a map doesn't look that great, I could honestly care less. But, like I said, if the map itself is just bad looking to the point where you can't even see what you're doing or it obstructs your vision, then it's bad. That's the reason I don't like Serious M4 Reborn so much. It's not because I think it looks bad and I don't appreciate the art style, it's because it... It looks bad to the point where it actually blocks out what you're supposed to do. I could care less that it's going for like a serious M2 aesthetic. I care more that I can't see what the fuck I'm trying to do when I play the map. Okay, fine. I guess I'll take the sign and go over the thing. I guess this is the point of no return, so I really hope I don't miss a secret. Wherever it is. Oh, yeah, there's no going back. I have to do this now. Oh, hello. You are not what I want to see right now. Okay, luckily he didn't spot me. That could have gone a lot worse. Oh, hello. There's still more. I always speak before the fight's actually over. There. Now are we good? That's the question. I think so. Okay, seriously, what's up with this? Nothing. You can't break it. I was thinking maybe there would be like a health pill. And you shoot it and it falls down, but guess not. It's just there for decoration. I approve. I like decoration. Ooh, I also like grenades. I only have one C4 charge, better make a count. Whoever's getting it has to really deserve it. You deserve a grenade. And you guys deserve the super shotgun. Ah, oh, that missed. There. Okay, bad idea. That's why I don't use melee and BFE that much, is because you're hardly ever in a situation where it's actually good enough to do it. I think it worked out pretty well though for the mo for the most part. Um, let's just continue. 
I doubt I'm gonna find the secret by this point. I might have already missed it. Or maybe it's still here somewhere and I haven't found it. I don't know. I smell serious oh, Sam smells serious firepower. Good to know. Oh, I see it. Okay. Minigun time. Let's and there's the minigun bullets. And kamikazes. Lots of them. And a canoe. I don't know where he is. I hear the snap. There's a lot of dust. Oh, he's right there. Okay. Okay, you deserve this. Come here. Do it again. Yeah. That's what I thought. Okay, you can stop spawning. I've had enough of you. Hello. By the way, can I just say how much I love reload cancelling? Because you shoot, and then look at that. Like, oh, there's a kamikaze. Look at that, that's so nice. How come Serious M4 doesn't have that? It's a feature that they literally perfected a game earlier. Oh, they perfected how annoying you fucking are, too. piece of chip. Oh, it's right over there. Okay. Do your thing. Nope. Okay. Teleport somewhere else and then do your thing. There you are. I knew you were gonna do that. I think the enemies are spread enough to the point where I can actually melee them and get away with it. Save some ammo. There we go. Cool. I actually like that fight. I think the kamikaze spawner lasted a bit too long, but you know what? I like the fight. The overall fight's good. Good job. And you can't jump up here. Why? Let me jump up here. I want to explore. Look at all this cool, unused area that you have. Can I please go up there? Invisible wall says no. Great. grenades. That's not good. I need more. I want more. Oh. I ask and I shall receive. Nice. Very biblical. I'll take it. Okay, you. How do I open you? You look like something I can open. Grenades! More grenades. Thank you. I will happily take that. 26. Okay, it's better than nothing. And what's all this? Ooh, a serious damage power-up. That's something you don't see every day. Probably means something bad's gotta happen. More grenades. Yes, please. And armor. Yeah. Okay, that's good. Um, I'll tell you what, let's start shooting. And I'll stay near the serious damage in case I need it. 
this be if like the opposition starts getting really bad and I'll just grab it. I'm expecting more to happen besides just clear. So that's why I'm not grabbing it right now. I'm gonna wait till something else spawns in and then I'll grab it and head for the minigun ammo there. Or I'll just grab it now. Yeah, okay. I'm done. <laughs> well, shit. Okay, that's very interesting. Mmm, let's see. You know what? I'll actually do this map again, but when I get to that point, I'll put a quick save. Since this isn't really like a blind run by any means. Well, it is blind. I haven't played this in a long, long time, but I actually have played it way in the past. And honestly, I don't remember half the stuff. Okay, do your thing. Ooh, nice dodge. Yeah, now that I kind of have like a feel for the map, I'll try doing it faster. Scanner. stuff and grenade launcher now of course is what I call a gun grenade launcher is always good okay I see a reptiloid projectile I know that he's up there somewhere He has tree armor. That's a feature, apparently. Well, I guess it's fern armor. Whatever. Okay, where is he? There he is. Thankfully he didn't shoot. That could have been really bad. 
I also see the Kanoom off to my left. There you go. There. The Kanoom woke up. Yeah, he's over there now. Okay. He walked a little bit. There's another hit scanner. Oh, I see him. He's coming this way. I barely saw the top of the tail. Grenades, health. Both are very good to have. Here. Okay, and then you're over there. I see you. Come on. There we go. Oh yeah, I have cats in the room. Well, now I do. That one just decided to walk in. Go away. I love you, but not now. <laughs> And the other cat's still sleeping on my bed, the one that you heard last time. I have two of them. Oh yeah, enemies spawn in when you do that. Oh, he's weak. Okay. Then, there's one over here, somewhere. Oh yeah, a scorpion. Dead. Challenge him to a duel. There we go. Oh, I missed. Here. Oh my god. What was that projectile? Enemy. I hear you. You're over here. Okay. Oh, I can't hit you. His dodging skills are too good. Oh yeah, and then I have to go and open that gate and press that switch. Or pull that lever. And hopefully find the secret. Wherever it is. There we go. Pulled the thing, got lag spikes as my reward. Health, armor, shells, all the good stuff. Oh yeah, there's two of them. There's the other one. There you go. Oh, I ran out of ammo. There. Okay. Now what? Oh yeah, this section. Just grab the health and the armor. And these guys are kind of actually just melee. They spawn in kind of slowly. So I have enough time to do that. Good for saving ammo. He missed.
Okay, I'm feeling a little bit better about this map now. Just need to remember to save when I get to that part. Nice try. C4, don't want to forget about that. It's nice to have. Because there's this guy. There he goes. And more shells, yes please. Ow. I lagged right into that. Thought I dodged it. Game says otherwise. Oh well. Um. Okay, you shoot. Actually, I'll. Yeah. Nice. Okay. Top up on supplies. And we should be good for this fight. Strafed right in those. Oh, I'm the best at catching projectiles. Wow. Nice double kill. There we go. Super shotgun is good. I smell serious fire. It isn't serious and four levels are good, but it is still good. Don't underestimate it. Let's raise the rhythm. I think the fusion pistol is my favorite. This thing just is so good. It also has a pretty decent hitbox on it, too. That's one thing I noticed about Serious Sam 4 that I really don't like is the hitboxes are very small on enemies. So stuff that would normally work in other Serious Sam games don't seem to work as well. Like, just shooting kamikazes, for example. Even though the assault rifle has spread on it, like, the hitboxes are so nice and meaty that you can reliably shoot them. Finish you off with the shotgun. There we go. There we go. Ooh, nice. I'm just gonna shoot them from here. Fuck it. There we go. And attack. Nice. Okay, now all the kamikaze are dead, the witch bride spawned in, and she is over here somewhere. Yeah. Face me. Nice. Now I'll teleport somewhere else and do it again. Oh, wait, where? Wait, where'd she go? I have no idea. Do it again. Where are you at? Ah, there you are. Two grenades, I like it. The grenade launcher really should have been the game by default. My god. Things are so good. People that hate on the grenade launcher have no idea what they're on about. 
they're probably either playing on console where they can't really adjust their aiming time, or they just don't really understand the mechanics of the charging and how it works. Which I can't say I blame them, it does take a little bit of practice to get used to, but my god is it a satisfying weapon to use once you actually learn how it works. I'd say it's easily my favorite serious hand weapon. Even above the minigun. As much as I like the minigun, I gotta just love the grenade launcher. I can't stop talking about how good it is. Oh yeah, I promised. I'll save. I don't think I'm gonna die this time though, I know what to expect. I just need to grab it sooner and I thought I did. I'm still gonna rush and grab the helmet though, just because... Thanks. Okay, now I'm gonna shoot them. Yeah, before I was trying to, like, bait them over here for some weird reason, I should have just been shooting. Oh, I knew there was something. Okay. Well... Glad I saved it. Hell yeah, let's do this. Ooh, I love me a serious damage rampage. Marco, you spoil me. I bet he knew how much I like serious damage rampages before he even made this. And he was just like, oh yeah, this guy, he likes serious damage. Kamikazes are not too worried about, still worried about the clears because of their attacks. And the Biomax, those need to go. Thanks. Enough of their laser walls. I need ammo. Oh yeah, the door's locked. That's not good. But, I did kill the clear. I'm happy. So let's just finish off the kamikazes. Using the assault rifle. And then for you, you deserve a grenade. So do you. You definitely deserve grenades. Come here. You take nine grenades, okay. I think the grenade launcher does slightly more damage than the rocket launcher does. Wrong weapon. Ah, don't shoot. Okay. Whatever. Health. And what was the point of this area? There's some armor. That's good. I have 19 grenades. Not amazing, but it'll do the trick. There's a key. Can I grab it? I have found key. Okay, nice. Luckily there's a lot of minigun ammo back there, so... There's usually going to be a return fight, though, I have a feeling, so let's try not to die to whatever it is. Really? No return fight? Okay, I'm impressed. Well, I guess they figured that they didn't give you enough ammo to do a return fight, so I'm kind of glad. Here we go. Minigun ammo. Very nice. I'll take it. do we have here? Oh, enemies. I see you. There. 
Nine grenades. I only have eight. And one of those didn't even hit him. Or I'll just have to super shotgun you, I guess. Die, please. Thanks. Okay. And there go the enemies. And also, I don't have any explosives. That's never a good thing. That's a very bad problem to have, actually. No C4 and no grenades. Wow. Okay. That's really bad. I need to find some grenades or something. Oh! That was the level. Okay. Well, shit. <sighs> Okay, Yards of Thoth. Oh yeah, I didn't find the secret. But I did get all the kills, it's impressive. Usually I don't get all the kills, because I don't really care about getting all the kills, just all the secrets. So, if I find the last secret, then I guess that's another serious 100% playthrough I can do. Cool. Yards of Thoth. C4, 12 grenades. Okay, at least they're nice enough to start you out some explosives. That's always cool. Six secrets. Okay, that's quite a few. Well, let's see how the level goes. So far, it's big. Big area to just kind of walk around. Reptiloids. And heavy music. Heavy combat music. I don't wanna see if there's also scorpions somewhere. I don't know where the scorpion is. Oh, it's right there. Okay. Here, come here. There's another one. Why am I not surprised? Okay, I know there's a biomech that walked that way. There's a lot of kamikazes. So many. And I see him. I saw the scorpion. I know where he is. Oh, uh, that's a lot of bloom. I think I have bloom turned off. Why is it so bright? Oh my god. It's horrible. Okay. There's a Biomech Major out there. That's not good. There's also still a Scorpion that I need to be aware of. Is he gonna walk over here or is he just gonna stay? I don't know. I'm gonna try to snipe this guy. There. No, he's just gonna walk outside like an asshole. Okay. Interesting. Okay, what's over here? Oh, more kamikazes. Why would I expect anything else? Sand whale. That's not good. I need to get back inside right now. There we go.
Well, there go all my grenades. Hopefully I'll find something that I can use. I hear a biomech miner over here. Bye. And another scorpion up there. Okay, this is definitely BFE. Oh, the head scanners. Oh, the head scanners. There. And the janky clear, where, where are they going? I hear one that's behind me somewhere. At least I think he is. Done. Thanks. Okay, you know what? Mini gun. There's so many clear. Oh my god, stop. I don't have enough ammo for this. Well, I mean, I do, but I don't want to spend it on clear. That's for damn sure. And where are they going? What is this pathfinding? Why are they walking over there? He killed them, thank you. Thank god he killed the hit scanner for me. Ow. Fucker. It's just like a never ending supply of clear. Where are these clear going? What are they doing? I don't get up. Like, what is this pathfinding that they're trying to do right now? What? What? Dude, these are like the most jank clear I've ever seen. Oh, and there's another scorpion. Not even... Oh no, it's not a scorpion, it's a biomech. It's THE biomech that I missed from earlier. Keys. I found keys. What do I do with the keys? I don't know. Let's find out. Combat music still going, which means I'm probably gonna get shot in the back by a hit scanner and have to restart the level. Luckily there's some health. That's good. I can deal with health. What's on the other side? Is there a secret out here? Yay or nay? We shall see. Secrets? Yes? No? Maybe so. Nope. Okay, sand whale. That's what we get. Is a sand whale. I look at that. Beautiful. Majestic. Well, I think we should just continue. I don't really care about secrets right now. I do care about the combat music though. What could possibly be generating this much music? A sniper rifle. Okay. That's interesting. Don't usually see sniper rifles in BFE maps because it's overpowered. So, kind of curious to see why they gave it to us. Well, it's not super overpowered, it's just maps usually don't make good use of it. It is definitely the best sniper rifle in the Serious Sam franchise, way better than the one in Serious Sam 4. Way better than the classics. 
way better than literally any other iteration of the sniper rifle ever. It is hands down the best. Not even up for debate. It does full damage when scoped in or not scoped in. What is this combat music? What was the point of that? Okay. Very interesting. And there's still more. Damn. Stop. You know what? Screw this, I'm just gonna continue. The map lets me continue, so I will. got another one. Wow. Three reptiloids. This one I'm just gonna minigun. I have the ammo for it. There. Still haven't found any secrets though. That's intriguing. Well, they are secrets. They're meant to be hidden after all, but still. Oh my god, there's... But wait, there's more. Finding is a thing. Yay. I'm grabbing the ammo. And actually, I'm gonna switch to the pistol, it's just kamikazes. No need to waste precious resources on them. Sam, how much longer till we get here? Relax, Pesco, I'll be there. What's your status? Not I'm running out of air. Pesco, no. Oh shit, that's the guy. That's Pesco. 
in all of his glorious voice acting. I like him. He's cool. Let's see. Let's go over here. Oh my god, of course there's hit scanners and reptiloids. I would have never guessed. There we go. Three shots and you're gone. There's one. Even more hit scanners. There we go. Save on ammo just a little bit. Oh, they're spawning in behind. Okay. Ooh, a rocket launcher. I was kind of ex expecting to get that a lot sooner. Oh, this is bad. I'm probably gonna die here. Yeah, this is horrible. Unless... Okay, spooky clears, come here. Fushko's stolen PC has been found. Okay. Apparently he's a computer thief. Who knew? Wacky world. He's gone. It's kind of weird seeing like the HD model. I don't know why. I knew ignoring the harpies was going to bite me, but wasn't expecting it to be this bad. Oh well. Okay, no more sniper bullets. 22 rockets, 9 grenades. As long as we don't fight anything too bad, I think we can make this... I saw a battle mech. Okay, well now I have 15 rockets. Whoop de doo. I do like the fact that this rocket launcher doesn't have any of that weird screen shake when you shoot it though, that's nice. So it's basically like a direct improvement over the base rocket launcher of BFE, because you don't get any of the obnoxious like screen shake when you shoot it. That's good I guess. Please don't kill me instantly. Thanks. Actually, just don't kill me in general. That'd be really nice. Oh, and it's so dark. But I can see that there's something here, kind of. That's a secret, apparently. How about the other side? Anything in here? No. Okay. I see supplies. 
In this map, that's usually not a good thing because resources are pretty scarce. There's a helmet that counts as a secret. And I don't have the mutilator, which means I should actually probably use a knife. There we go. Is it me, or does this kind of feel a little bit like Serious Sam 4's arsenal, but in BFE? Like, you have a knife. You have an assault rifle. Ah, maybe I'm thinking too far into this. It just feels a little reminiscent of Serious M4, but in fusion. And with very limited resources. Plus there's a grenade launcher. In BFE. Normally you don't get one. I know the it's basically just like the HD weapons, but still, it's interesting that you get them. Or that you get a grenade launcher at all. Because normally map makers don't include them. Why? I don't know. I think they're fun. I like grenade launchers. That's just me. I guess not enough people share my sentiment to want to see grenade launchers included in BFE. But I genuinely think it actually fits BFE's gameplay pretty well. As a grenade launcher lover, of course, I'm gonna say that, but you get the point. I think it fits with the arsenal. Um. Eh? Oh, I need a scratch. Okay, there. I'm surprised that the cat hasn't woken up. I don't know, she's awake, she's bathing herself right now. I can see her behind me. Just sitting on the bed. Well, you keep doing you, cat. I will... keep playing this map. I still think map 2 is my favorite so far. This map has... Like a really weird intro section, kind of like uh, map one. Map one had a really rough start. This map had a really rough start, and I'm not. I mean, I'm okay with rough starts, but I don't know. Like when the pathfinding is all weird for clears, and that's kind of odd, you know. Ooh. Okay, you know what? Um, invisible wall just spawned in behind me. I'm gonna quick save. And jump down here. Yeah, I literally can't go back. There's an invisible wall that spawned there. Biomark, okay. Uh, what kind of fight was that? <laughs> okay, I could do better. Oh, the snap happened at the exact same time, that's why I didn't hear it. I didn't even see you. Usually there's like a delay between when they start attacking. I wasn't expecting the sound to just overlap itself. Yeah, I keep staying still. Thanks. These are getting explosives. That's good. Well, it probably means it's not good, but you get it. It's good to have. I need some armor. 
There's some armor. I'll take it. And I hear the magical pumpkin there. The magical gourd. Then you got ammo. Come here. I'm just gonna use the grenade launcher. Hit scanner somewhere. Right there. I think there's another one to the right over here somewhere. Or not. Grass also makes the game laggy for some reason. I don't know why that is. I actually noticed when playing HD the second encounter that the game lagged really hard, and it's just something to do with grass. I don't know what it is, but Serious Engine does not like grass. Maybe someone knows. Like a potential fix to it or something. And that spider's projectile just collided with my grenade and almost killed me. Actually, these enemies kind of work pretty well together because these guys... Projectiles are dangerous, so you want to take care of them as quickly as possible. Oh, come on. This is quite a big spawner. What am I gonna fight some other stuff? Or was that the fight? Oh no, there's a spider. There we go. I'm expecting like something else to happen. Yep. There's another one. Apparently the walls are indestructible. Okay, that's interesting. Normally the walls would be destructible. Oh yeah, and the grenades do an even amount of damage to them, so you don't have to use a pistol. That's cool. Grenade launcher for the win. Grenade launcher is truly the best weapon. Cat. Okay, a cat's next to me right now. Hopefully you don't have to try to climb on me while I'm playing this. Of course you're gonna try to climb on me. I'm probably gonna die because of you, you know? I saw a health kit somewhere. I know I'm not crazy. Where did it go? I know I'm not crazy. Where's the health kit? There it is. Okay, I knew I saw one. And is it me or is there a headless beheaded? Did, did that just clip through the 
that made me really salty. Why did it clip through? I hear him, he's in this. Why is he in there? Hold on. D that, that went over, okay. Where did that one go? Off to the side. Okay, I only have seven more tries. Too high. That one. That one. That's the one. Okay. Also, no armor? Really? No secret armor that you would put in there? If you're gonna make the walls indestructible, you might as well put some secrets in places, you know? I mean, damn. It opens. Now what? Oh, I hear those monkey fucks. Okay, I don't like the monkeys. I'm pretty sure I missed, like, yeah, all the secrets. Unless... Uh-huh, okay. And it didn't even spawn in a trap, I'm very surprised. Two monkeys just randomly died? Ow, what the fuck? Wait, why did the thing zap me? I don't get it. Maybe the health pill activated it. Who knows? Marco J loves beheaded enemies, apparently. I guess I have blame on their good. I'm still curious why this thing just like randomly decided to give me the taser. That doesn't open. Okay. Do any of these open? No, but there is this. Okay. Oh, I already don't like this. I'll die. Ow. Why didn't it switch? This. Oh, that looks ominous. Giant butt hole in the ground. Yeah, no thanks. You know what? What? I was actually just about to say I don't care about the secrets, but I just collected. What? There's a health thing there? Okay. Well, I guess if I find the last secret, then this is another serious 100% playthrough. But, I digress. I'll just jump in the hole. This is the last map. Let me check what time it is. I have to leave at 6. Uh, I have plenty of time. Oh, God. Okay. So, Map 1, I don't like. Map 2, I like. Map 3, I have parts that I don't like and parts that I like. The opening area, I don't like. Pretty much all the mid-section of the map I think is cool. 
I like that little green area fight, the one that takes place in the kind of oasis area. Uh, but it's a bit laggy. That's my only complaint. And now we have the rescue. Let's see what this... Oh yeah, and the pathfinding for the clears. I have no idea what's up with the pathfinding. That needs to be looked into pretty severely. Let's see what this is all about. This is... The final map. I think. With only one secret and a thousand enemies. My bad, 1500. Is this a secret? No, it's a spider. That was a joke, obviously. Okay, dark underground section, which is obviously everyone's favorite part of BFE. You know what? Yeah, I just wanted to jump down to see if I would die. The map starts right here, so I just figured I might as well check. Those bombs collided in midair. Spider. And the movement speed is odd. Yeah, like... You actually move at full speed around this area, but then over here it slows down. I don't get it. Ooh, that's a nice effect. The thunderstorm. Can I jump to those? Maybe this will... yeah. Okay, it creates platforms for me to jump to. Small little ledges, but they work. This doesn't open, which means that this one probably does open. It does, okay. Noted. Wonder why that one doesn't open. Oh wait, now now my pure curiosity's peaked. Okay, nothing back here. I can barely see these platforms, it's so dark. There we go. Um, let's see, I'm just gonna shoot. Uh, what's over here? Oh shit, something I don't wanna fight right now. You get four rockets, for sure. I'm just gonna run in here. Where? Oh, they're over there. Okay. Okay. Interesting. I can't really see what's going on, actually. I do like hearing the thunder, though. That's a really cool idea. Like, being under this kind of dark crypt area, and then you can just hear thunder off in the distance. That's really cool. I like it. Sets a nice kind of foreboding atmosphere. I'm telling you, it shit's about to get real. At least I think that's what it's trying to do. Okay, now this opens. And hopefully there's health that I can grab. I really want health. I don't like how open this area. I have to rub my eyes. Okay, apparently there is a secret. One health that's just there. I guess. I, I don't know. I press it and the walls try to close in on me. That's dangerous. I'm out of there. 
Well, I got the one and only secret, so if I beat the map, this will be a serious 100% map. Blind. Kind of. I actually remember hating this map a lot. It's been a long, long time since I played it, so I can't really remember why I hated it, but I did. I know something really dumb is about to happen. And I know what happens when you exit this tomb area. Ooh, hello, a laser rifle. I will happily take this ancient Egyptian beauty. Is it me, or did that thing actually spawn in behind me? I don't remember that spider nest being there. Well, you're pretty much forced to grab the laser rifle, so not really an optional area. This is where you're supposed to go. Oh boy. Okay. I'm starting to get a lot of bad feelings all of a sudden. And I think I know why. I hear a helicopter. There you go. Are there two of them or is it just the one? No, there's another one. I hear him. I see a shadow too. Ah, there he is. That is a lot of rockets. Oh, another one. E. How, how are you supposed to dodge those rockets and shoot them down at the same time? I, I don't get it. Well, at least I survived. And I got the only secret the map has to offer. Maybe that maybe that was the bullshit I was thinking of. Is like the three attack choppers that just shoot highly damaging missiles at you and just kind of spawn in the corners. That does suck. And also, I'm surprised that you can't go up here to find more secrets. That's a lot of wasted space. I and mean, look at this, you can easily go up there. Why not put something here? You know? Okay, what do we have here? I see super health and super armor. Better two... be alive in there, Pesco. Okay, two things I never want to see in a serious sand map are super armor and super health. Because I usually mean something bad's about to happen. You take 20 rockets. I oh, wanted them hit the ground there, I saw it. So I gotta fire an extra one. Whoops, I miscounted. Okay. Well, can't win them all. And what is... that's a cannon. Oh, cats. Also something I don't want to see in a serious sand map. And did that werewolf just drop ammo? I think he... they do. Okay. That's... interesting. Is that Sirius M4 inspired? When did this come out? Did this actually come out after Sirius M4 was released, or what? What the fuck? Enemies drop ammo when you kill them. Okay, that is... That can't be a coincidence. That has to be... Sirius M4 inspired. Somewhat. Also, I kind of want to save cannon ammo. I don't know why, but I feel like I'm going to need it. So, I'm going to just minigun these guys. They're dropping a lot of minigun ammo. And I'm going to use C4 on these. I'm intrigued. Why do they drop ammo when you kill them? It's actually a cool idea, and it's actually an idea that I'm surprised more maps don't do. I kind of just wish that they dropped more stuff besides just minigun and cannon ammo. Or, yeah, I wish they did drop cannon ammo, that would be nice. I 
dropping plenty of stuff, actually. I can probably just minigun my way through all of this. Maybe that's to the point. Maybe the point is that you're supposed to use a minigun here. Which is why they're giving you so much ammo for it. Yeah, I think that's the reason. I see the same whale on the screen shaking. I don't really know where the boundary lines are. Uh, yeah, I heard you. I knew that there was a clear behind me. And there's another reptile lord. Okay. You know, some rockets would be really good. I think there's actually rockets over here. Oh, you know what? I have the cannon. Screw you. Uh, okay, apparently the environments are indestructible. Good to know. I wish I knew that earlier. I was gonna bolt through those pillars and it was gonna look so cool, but no, it's indestructible. More minigun ammo, yes please. This looks interesting. I like this. This is actually cool. I don't know why I had bad feelings about the map. I mean, the helicopters I don't like, but I like this. This is cool. I just kind of wish that there were more ammo types besides just minigun ammo and assault rifle. Cannon ammo. Yes, please. And rockets. Also nice. Ooh, and grenades even better. Okay. I like this. I don't want to jinx it, but I think that there could be more enemies. Okay, that's a little more like it. Some biomechs. And cannon ammo, yes please, I like the cannon. And what's this? Ooh, a serious bomb. And it made a power-up sound for some reason. Serious bombs are usually never a good sign. Unless you find them in secrets, they're usually not a good sign if they're given to you. I'm getting really nervous actually, I don't know what to expect.
I do like the idea of warbles dropping ammo though, I think that's a cool concept. They're one of the fastest enemies in the game, so it's kind of like they're delivering the ammo to you. I like it. It's actually, I mean, it's not a bad concept, it's just that the way it's serious and forward that it's really weird. And when did this get here? I don't remember the supplies being there before. I just kind of walked over them. Well, it's giving me a lot of minigun ammo, so you know what? Time to mop these guys up. They're getting on my nerves. Go away. too sure what to think about the serious bomb though to be honest. Something tells me it's about to get really bad. Plus the thunder. I mean the thunder. And that's another helicopter. It's, yep, okay, it's spamming rockets at me. At a distance they're not bad, but like the ones that were back there, they spawned them way too close. Oh yeah, I have a laser rifle. I keep forgetting. I haven't really used it. I don't think at all yet. Let's try to change that. Let's try to find something worth using at all. And I do see another ammo cache back here as well for cannons. Okay. Uh, and clear. Okay, so Sirius Bomb is in this weapon slot, and it is actually a weapon, it's not a gadget. Well, that kind of makes sense, because Sirius and BFE doesn't have gadgets. Or rather, Fusion doesn't. I don't think Fusion came up with gadgets yet. Well... I am thoroughly intrigued to see what the fuck happens next. I kinda wanna go back and scavenge around, because I know that these wearables drop a lot of ammo. Yeah, okay, assault rifle bullets, bullets over here, more bullets for the assault rifle, and if I find one more that would be really nice. Ah, here we go. Thanks. See, sometimes the game listens. I kind of wish that the serious bomb was under the cannon so that I didn't accidentally use it. Or so that I don't accidentally use it. Oh god. You need to go away. I don't like you. I don't like you, uh, rocket spamming thing. Uh... My internet just worn out, that's great. Luckily I'm not live streaming this, I'm just playing it. I also wish that there was more C4. That final knock rock could actually save me. This is Serious M4 music. This definitely came out after Serious M4 was released. There's no way it came out before Serious M4. Ooh, that was a lot of enemies, okay. I think I'm starting to see why it gave you so much ammo. Whoops, wrong weapon. Ah, fuck. I meant to use the cannon. Damn it, I foreshadowed it. I knew that I was gonna accidentally use it. Fuck. I wanted to use the cannon, not the seat. Damn it. Why am I the best at predicting my own failures? I called it. 
I said, you know, I wish this was under because I'm probably gonna accidentally use it, and what do you know, I fucking accidentally use it. I meant to just use the cannon. Sorry if I'm not talking too much, this is just kind of... I mean, it's actually not that hard of a fight, it's just a lot, you know? There's kamikazes, which actually I'm not too worried about. These guys are kind of easy. There's just a lot of them. I really wish you would stop spawning, please. And I also wish that there was more ammo for my explosive weapons. I don't feel like there's enough ammo for the explosive weapons. And I also kind of wish that there was more assault rifle bullets so I could mop up clears using them. Or not clear, kamikazes. Eventually I'll probably have to use the minigun or even worse, probably resort to the pistol just to save ammo. And I see harpies. Okay, let's a terrible sign. Luckily they stopped spawning. The kamikazes did at least. Now I can focus on just mowing these guys down. Or girls, whatever they are. Stuff back here, maybe. No, there's not. Okay. Well, thought it was worth a look. I want these harpies to go away before I start moving forward. They kind of surprised me last time when I avoided them, so don't want a repeat of that mistake. Definitely not an enemy you want to have sneaking up on you. Aha, I gotta see one. They also give you plenty of minigun ammo, so I'm not too worried about using it to kill these. I am worried about that sand whale, though. I'm still not 100% sure where the barrier actually is. Or the border. Okay, you know what, I think I killed enough harpies, I'm just gonna say fucking to move forward. Eh, actually I'll take care of these on the right, then I'll move forward. 
And you. Okay, we should be good. Let's just go. Big armor, assault rifle bullets, and grenades. Great. Ah, there he is. Did that grenade just go under his feet? What? I think it did. That looked like it should have been a direct hit. Oh yeah, they launch grenades. Infusion. God, I love them. I love Scrapjacks and Fusion. They're the perfect blend of not too spongy, not too light, and they also deal a shit ton of damage. They are... I think Scrapjacks are actually my favorite enemies. From Fusion, anyway, like the base Serious M3 versions, I don't like that much, but these I can live with. And something really bad is gonna happen here, I can feel it. Also, I think this map would benefit from like a lot more wearables, like a shit ton more. Kinda like from Earth with Love amounts of wearables and just cannon ammo. I would love to just have this lane right here be turned into nothing but fucking wearables, and you just bowl straight down them. That would be so satisfying. Or even clear. Yeah, you could have like a clear wave where you just kind of bowl through them. And I don't know if I'm crazy, but I remember that there's like a Devastator here as well. I would love to see the Devastator make a return and have more Scrapjacks kind of on the dunes so you can use the Devastator to shoot them. I don't know, I'm... maybe I'm remembering wrong, I don't know. Oh, oh, okay, those enemies despawned because I was rambling and not paying attention. Whoops, my bad. Uh, pfft, excuse me? <laughs> Just pfft, bounce me off the wall. Okay, this does not look good. I see... not Peshko. This guy could be him, I don't know. Looks like a flounder. What does this guy look like? Looks like a T-Rex with his weird small arm. I don't know. I'm done. My roasts are not very good. I can't roast people to save my life. Maybe I'm too nice. Who knows. The gentle giant to play serious Sam. How about that? Sniper bullets, Sam rockets, which I'm grabbing through the wall. They were actually here. Okay. That's fine. What do we have here? Ooh. Okay, that's not a good sign. And a C4 charge for. Well, wait a second. Oh, they gave you a C4 charge. Wait, so you're kind of screwed, actually. Like, if you use a C4 charge, but you miss and you detonate it on accident somehow, then you're screwed. It's game over. Hold on, is there a C4 crate around here that I'm missing? That would be really bad level design if there wasn't a C4 crate somewhere. It doesn't have to be like the most obvious crate in the world, but just somewhere there has to be one because if you throw this and you don't blow up the door with it, then you're kind of screwed. You know? There's no C4 crate. Okay. Bad level design. Add a C4 crate. Put it here. Just place it right there. Or better yet, just put it here, grab it, walk up, and blow up the door. 
Or you can even put the crate here if you want, if you don't want people to cheese. Whatever's about to happen. I actually don't know what's about to happen. I guess I'll find out. Oh, cutscene plays. Okay. Ugh, tired. Here we go. Let's see if he comes out. Let's go. D D D. I like how the door blows up and dust comes out of the side. Like what? What? And, and the smoke it disappears. <laughs> yes. Oh, the cheese cutscene. I love it. You can actually tell what a lot of effort was put into it. Oh shit, there he is. There's the man. The man, the myth, the legend. It's... Stevo. What's up, Sam, old buddy, old pal? No, it's Pesco. Nothing much. Just saving your ass. Ooh. Yeah, and I want you to know I'm thankful about that. Of course you Le clear. Oh, there they come. Okay. This is getting serious. He says with no mouth mouth movement. Okay. Marco. Wait, me quick saving. Good. I'll send Sergeant Pound to pick you up. Copy that. Well, wait a second. I can't go back up. Nope. Okay. Well, that's a shame. What are you shooting that? Bullets are coming out of his asshole. What the hell? Yo. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> Go kill him, tiger. Why don't I get a sledgehammer? I don't get that. Why don't I have a sledgehammer? That's so much better than a knife. And I don't have it. Maybe because I didn't want to overwrite the super shotgun, who knows. Still, I just want to smash these spiders in the face. Is that too much to ask? don't know what universe they're trying to go to. Good luck in there. Jeez. The pathfinding is so off. I don't know what it is, but enemies just kind of seem to go all over the place. Oh god, and I hear my main refrigerator. I hope that means it's not going to turn off and shut off my sound, because that would be a total waste. I've spent too much time on this anyway, so even if it does happen, I'll still end up uploading this. Ooh, got him. mod is really restrictive on ammo. I don't know why. I mean, I, I think it's actually cool for like the first two levels, but for level three in this, I think it definitely needs to have like higher enemy counts and also just... Well, higher enemy counts, shorter overall fights, and then like just more ammo. So shorter waves, more enemy variation, and all that good stuff. All the stuff that makes a good level. Oh, and less, less invisible walls and more secrets that aren't just mini secrets tucked in corners. 
I have no, I don't know what he's saying. He's like bad. He's like a lamb. He's mad. You know what? I think it's actually this part that I hate. Or, no, it's not this. There, there's something that I'm missing. There's something that I remember about this level that I just can't quite put my finger on, and I don't know what it is. And it bothers me. I don't know why. Because this is actually a pretty good level. I'd say it's the best one so far. But there's something. There, There is. I, I know it. I can feel it. You know what, I'm gonna use the laser rifle. This is really bothering me, I don't know what it is. But I know that there's something bad about this level. And there's a reason why I never beat this level before. Is there a boss fight? Oh. Oh, I think I remember what it is. There is a boss fight. And I don't remember the boss fight being good at all. Actually, I remember the boss fight being terrible. Unless the boss fight got reworked, which it very well could have. This mod's been out for a long time, so... Yeah, minigun time, fuck it. I don't know what he's saying. He's like, ah. Oh, and there's harpies on top of all this. That's genius. I would have never thought to have added harpies on top of all this. There is also a lack of explosive ammo. Like, there needs to be more grenades because of how many Kirkabitos or whatever they're called. Okay, this is getting pretty bad actually. Not bad in like, I hate this, but bad in like just. There's a lot of enemies kind of way. God, it's a fight that keeps on giving. Go away. How many enemies are there? You know, I hope that there's actually some wearables that drop ammo. Because that was actually a good mechanic. I would like to see some more of those. That way you can use the cannon and you can actually grab some fucking ammo from them. Speaking of ammo, I'm gonna scavenge. Uh, looks like you have it under control over there, buddy. I'll be back here in a sec. Nope, just cannonballs. Okay. And more cannonballs over there. Really? No ammo? There's not even like an ammo crate? Wow. Stingy. There are some shells though, that's nice. I'll take those.
Um, okay, 20 shells. It's not a lot. Any... Oh, there is. Okay, nice. There's some assault rifle ammo here. So basically the way I would do it is I'd make it so, like, there's actually distinct waves. So basically, like, after an enemy type dies, there's, like, a brief second where it's, like, stuff pops up here in the center if the players are grabbing them. Like, there's a new wave that basically makes use of the ammo type that it gave you. So I would make it so, like, for the Kirkabito and the Kamikaze wave that there's minigun ammo and grenades. Then I'd make it so I'd actually kill them and there's harpies, there's a lot of sniper ammo that snipe and also like some assault rifle ammo that comes in. Then I'd make a side after all these die. Uh, actually I don't know what comes next, but you get the picture. And then of course I'd want there to be like a wearable wave where obviously you fight the wearables and yeah, the wearables themselves drop supplies. And I don't know, maybe like something that encourages the laser rifle use. Like I think the reptiloids are actually good at making players use the laser rifle. But yeah, there's a lack of ammo. And it makes the fights kind of drag on for way longer than they should. Now I'm not saying that every single wave needs to drop in supplies for the player, but more than what we have right now for sure. Make it sound like every two or three waves there's like a big resupply thing that spawns in. Kind of like Sam said, the moron that burns twice as bright dies twice as fast. Same kind of concept, like, you know, you want your fights to be fast, so they don't drag on this long. You want them to be concise, is the word. But you want there to be multiple waves, and have it so that the different waves challenge players in different ways. Oh, okay. Was that it? Oh, look at that. He holds it sideways. Amazing. And another slides. Well, I think we got all of them. <laughs> what? Oh, what's this nasty thing? It's an Eldritch Horror. What the fuck? I don't remember this in the travel brochure. I actually don't remember this at all. What is this? Ew. Ew. Okay, burn it with fire. Definitely not all of it. Oh, fuck. He's dead. And so goes Peshko. Okay, I'm saving up. And that lags my game out really bad. And the tree is indestructible. Why? I actually don't remember this boss fight. I remember it being like a... Whatever his face was. Well, at least it's a good old-fashioned just shoot it with a cannon until it dies thing, I'm okay with that. And there's a few pesky enemies that hopefully Peshko will help in killing. Go, kill them. What are you doing? I'm taking care of the boss for you. Oh, now there's ammo? Jeez. You couldn't have added this earlier? Okay, luckily the boss is distracted with him right now, so I can just do this. Actually, no, I can't. That's a lot of damage I'm taking right now. I need to grab that health, but I feel like I'm gonna catch a bullet from this thing and I don't know how much damage it's gonna do. 
Probably a lot, if I had to guess. Okay, down we go. Luckily Peshko's there to just kind of distract it, that's nice. I actually don't hate this as much as I remember. I remember this being way worse. I don't know why. This actually isn't that bad. Oh, you know what? It was actually like that big guy. Yeah, there, there's an early version of this map where you fought a big guy. I forgot what the fuck he was called, but it's like that giant scrapjack. And you had way more enemies that were trying to hunt you down as well. <coughs> Still... <coughs> I don't think the boss needs to be harder, but I think if it just focused you down, that would be kind of cool. Ow. Okay, I died. Let's try that again. Oh, you know what? I actually just noticed that these things drop in. What do these do, anyway? Oh, that's where the supplies come from. Okay. And you know what? Laser rifle. Yeah, laser rifle actually shreds these enemies really good. Probably even better than the minigun does. Just because in this game it has such giant hitboxes. That's the thing that I don't like about Serious Sam 4, honestly, is the hitboxes. Hitboxes for enemies feel way too small, and also the laser rifle projectiles in particular just have tiny hitboxes. So it feels like you're missing a shit ton of your shots, and it's because you are. In this game, you could just kind of shoot at the enemy and expect that you'll actually hit them. You know, like, weapons are supposed to work. Don't give me this crap about, oh, it's more realistic. No, it's not. You aim a rifle at what you're shooting at in real life, chances are you're gonna fucking hit it. <laughs> it's not gonna just magically... I mean, unless you haven't taken care of your weapon, then yeah, it's not gonna hit shit, but... I'm actually kind of embarrassed that I died to this boss. You know what? This level's actually kind of good. I like this one. I don't like the fact that projectiles still hit me after I beat the boss, but there we go. Celebration time.
here we go. I do like that little cutscene that played though, where she has kind of appeared and like smacked <laughs> Pesco across the mouth. <laughs> he was just like, ow, and they immediately got back up. Alright, that was The Adventures of Peshko Remastered. So, I actually think those levels are overall pretty good. I like the second level a lot, as I mentioned. I also like that final level. A few things I'll briefly go over. Uh, let me pull it back up just so I can have the list up and ready of the different maps. Peshko Remastered, here we go. Unexpected ex assignment. Um, what can I say? I don't like it. This is probably the worst level by far. It starts out really difficult, you're under-equipped, and I guess that's kind of the point, but having a super shotgun to canoe to death just isn't fun. It's doable, especially since his pathfinding is really fucked and he can just... I don't know. This level probably needs to be remastered, even though it's a remaster, so that actually kind of makes me shudder to imagine what the original one's like. Not very good. Only saving graces, it's pretty short, and the secrets are easy to find. Level 2. Favorite level, by far. Reason, it has a pretty interesting mix of ammo scarcity, it also includes a grenade launcher, and, I don't know, I think the level layout's really good, and also so is the enemy usage. I really like this level, I don't have many complaints about it. Oh, and also I like the setting, the setting is beautiful. Yards of Thoth. Uh, hmm. So, starting area feels a little bit bland. I think this level could actually benefit from having a Devastator in it. Like that original area that you start off in, where... I mean, you can even see it in the screenshot there. That's the area that you start off in. I think if you got, like, a Devastator right there, and you're greeted with like a bunch of clears that are rushing through the door and you had to use a devastator to hold them off that would be a pretty cool start you know it shows you okay this level's not gonna fuck around 
And I would just include more explosive ammo pickups throughout this level. I feel like the bullet management's pretty good. Yeah, like you're not too flush with minigun ammo, but I feel like there could just be like a slight increase to ammo overall, especially to, uh, how do you say it? Like basically just like explosive ammo, especially the grenade launcher and rocket launcher barely have enough to get through some of the tougher encounters. Speaking of tougher encounters, um, the area that kind of takes place in the Oasis is, I wouldn't say it's easy. It feels a little bit easy, but the main problem is the performance. If you're somehow able to fix up the performance and make us out the fights are shorter, but there's more overall fights and they demand different things of the player, then I think this can be another really good level. It's got some bright moments in it though. I like the architecture, I like the way it looks, the way it plays. Starting area though just feels a little bit bland and then like you're immediately kind of thrown to the wolves with like a bunch of sniping arach arachnids and then like you also have just a shit ton of random clear. Again, pathfinding is a bit of an issue with this level as well so that definitely needs to be addressed. The rescue, surprisingly good. Probably this and Pharaoh's temples are my two favorite, for sure, without question. Glad I actually found the secret on this one, too. I remember the boss fight being really bad, because it was actually like that giant scrapjack, and you basically had clears, kamikazes, and all this other shit that would kill you before you even got a chance to get up to the boss. Like, there was way too many enemies that blocked you from even getting to the boss, let alone killing the boss. I remember it now. So I'm glad the boss has changed, I like the boss encounter. Um, I don't want to jinx it by saying that the boss encounter is easy because I don't want it to be reworked into a way where it's super difficult for the player to play, but it's a bit easy. The boss is kind of spongy, and basically as long as you keep a good eye on the enemies and clear a path, you can... So I don't really think the boss is the issue. I think the biggest issue with this map, if I had to name it, would be... Again, a lack of explosive ammo, not really a lot of rockets or grenades, not really a lot of C4 either. I'd like to see some more C4 in all these maps to be honest, I think C4 is lacking. Um, there's a lot of cannon ammo, I like the wearable concept how they're able to drop ammo when you kill them. I would definitely keep that and maybe expand on it a little bit. And speaking of wearables, I want more of them. You have the cannon by this point. If you include the Devastator in the previous map, then it would be kind of cool to see, you know, more clears that rely on piercing weapons. So, you know, you'd form clear lines so you can bolt through them with the Devastator, form wearable lines so you can bolt through them with the cannon, so on and so forth. Overall, though, I like the map. Definitely a big highlight of this whole campaign, even though I died on the boss. <laughs> so, yeah, that's my thoughts on it. First level, not too good. Second level, very good. Third level, eh, needs a little bit of work. And fourth level's good. That's about it. Fourth level needs more enemies for sure. Just, and when I say more enemies, I don't mean more bullshit enemies. I mean just, yeah, like bigger fights that like really let you go loose with the weapons that you're given. And more ammo for those weapons that you can let loose. Less kamikazes, I think, would be good too. That way you kind of have like a more push-forward mentality towards the pyramid. And I think the holdout section at the pyramid is also a little bit weak. Um, and by that, like, I mean, it's mostly just a few enemies repeated over and over again. Like, I think if that fight was more dynamic, then that would be more interesting. I can imagine, like, Green Bomberman spawning on some of the pillars around you so that you have immediate threats to your left and right. And then like, you know, if you had the Devastator, you'd have some clears approaching from the front that you'd have to blast through. Um, yeah, that's about it. I'll leave it there. Hope you enjoyed the video. I actually enjoyed doing a commentary of this, even though I died a few times. I feel it was worth it in the end. Hopefully you guys feel the same. Next, I will probably do... Another one of Marco J's campaigns, because I haven't really played a lot of his stuff, to be honest. I'll probably either do the original Adventures of Peshka where it started, or there was another one. Maybe I need to download it again, but I remember that there was like a 
second Adventures of Peshko or something like that that I had installed at one point. Eh, whatever, I'll find it. Can't promise I'll play through it anytime soon. I might also do Seriously Stupid Serious Sam 3 Remaster because I have actually had quite a few people ask for it, but that'll be for another time. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Peace.